Hello everybody, um, we're going to go ahead and get started with the uh, PowerPoint slide. So we're going to be learning about the cultural and economic change from the 1920s to the 1930s um, in the United States. So the learning targets for this lesson are CE1, analyze continuity and change in eras over US history from 1877 to present, and HE1, Describe and analyze the historical development and impact of the arts and literature on the culture of the United States. So keep those in mind um, as we go throughout this unit. The learning objectives for you all, uh, students will be able to categorize and explain why different photos, songs, and text fall into the 1920s or 1930s era. Um, students will be able to apply understanding of the differences to explain change between the 1920s and 1930s. And then last one, students will be able to explain how art and literature from the 20s and 30s help shape understanding of these two time periods of the 1920s and the 1930s. So moving on uh, to better understand um, the cultural and economic uh, change between the 1920s and 1930s, uh, let's go back and kind of cover what a cultural and social change really means. So cultural or social change um, is when a group of people uh, through new ideas, discoveries, or contact with another group of people um, start to change. So a great way to look at this is up here in this picture. Obviously there's different people from different countries coming to the United States. There's a different culture that's being brought that they're bringing with them when they come. Um, and there's kind of a cultural and social change. So that's what it means to change is when two cultures, for example, two countries kind of come together, people from those and mix. And there's different ideas, uh, discoveries and contact with different groups of people. So when we talk about cultural and social change between the 1920s and 1930s, that means there's a cultural shift or a social shift from the what it was like in the 1920s to the 1930s. So the culture was very different in these two different eras. Um, what does economic change mean? Economic change, uh, it could be positive or negative and changes in a country's overall wealth and success. Um, so an economy is the overall wealth and success of a country. Um, so it could either be a positive or negative impact um, depending on what's going on. We'll kind of, we'll examine that as we go throughout uh, this unit and you'll see the, whether or not it was a positive or negative change in the economic um, system. So to give you a little bit of the background, um, during the 1920s in the United States, um, it was full of wealth and there's riches. So lots of rich, wealthy people. Um, there's massive parties and celebrations. Uh, this is why this era is nicknamed the Roaring Twenties due to the, the wealth, the parties, the celebrations. It was a good life. Lots of people love to party. Um, there's lots of good things going on in the nation. Um, this is a time of economic growth, time of lots of cultural change as well. There's different cultures mixing together, bringing out new ideas and discoveries. So overall, the 20s, uh, I like to think of it kind of like if you've seen the Great Gatsby movie or read the book, um, the 20s is all about mansions, these kind of lavish lifestyles. It was a good time in America, economy was doing good, different cultures were uh, mixing and exchanging ideas. Um, just overall, um, great era with lots of ideas uh, and lots of happiness from overall people. Now transitioning to the 1930s, this is when the Great Depression is uh, occurring during the 1930s. Uh, so there was a global economic and political crisis um, part of that is the stock market crashed um, during the 1930s. Uh, so the, this, again, the economic change was negative when the stock market crashed. Um, there was a huge, huge, huge part um, of the 1930s and involvement during the Great Depression. There was a lower standard of living compared to the 1920s. So people went from these you know, very nice mansions to tents. There's acres and lots of land to dirt and community living spaces. So it was a complete shift of the way of living. It went from these nice mansions, parties, everyone's happy, lots of money, to not everyone really has money. People are moving from mansions down to these tents and tenant living. Um, and people who had lots of land, acres of land, are now living in community spaces, usually dirty, kind of grimy areas. 
Um, and then pictured up here on the top right is Hooverville, uh, which is one of those kind of famous towns of, uh, of poor people that during the 1930s, these, you know, they had uh, tin roofs, really dirty living spaces, um, not really, I, I believe no windows, you know, very, very poor living conditions compared to the 1920s. Um, something important I'd like to touch on is the Dust Bowl. Um, so during the 1930s, not only was the economy bad and the living quality of life bad, uh, but there was a dust storm, uh, the Dust Bowl. Uh, so these were severe dust storms nicknamed Black Blizzards. Um, they carried soil away uh, and made it impossible to grow crops and plant crops. Due to over farming of crops such as wheat that made the soil dry up and no longer be able to grow wheat, this is where the dust starts kicking up. That dust and the soil has been planted on so, so much that it dries out and the second wind hits it, it creates a massive dust storm. That's why it's nicknamed the black blizzard. It's almost impossible to see, impossible to breathe. Um, so not only is the economy going bad and the quality of living bad, but also planting crops such as like wheat, kind of the basic one, are almost impossible. So hunger's going up, poverty's going up. Um, and then by the end of the 1930s, 2.5 million people had left their farms and moved to California because they could no longer grow crops. They had no other choice but move to California, which was kind of the land of opportunity, you could say, during the 1930s. And they gave up on the farming life because of the Dust Bowl and these terrible, terrible, severe dust storms. These are two pictures that I, I really like. The one in the top left, um, you can kind of see how big these dust storms were. They weren't anything really small, like it wasn't just a little bit of dust and dirt kicking up. Like these, these things really, like when they came over, uh, many people thought it was nighttime because it was that dark. And, you know, your plates, everything in your house would just be full of dirt. Um, kind of pictured here in the bottom right as well. It looks like an old uh, vehicle of some sort. Maybe it was a farming or personal vehicle. It's covered in dirt from all of this dry sand um, kind of shifting over it over time and these big dust storms moving all that dirt on top of it. So this is probably someone's farm that moved west, one of the 2.5 million that did in, 19, in the 1930s. Um, this is the leftover, the remnants of their farm, as you can see. Um, there's just no way you could uh, grow any crops. Uh, the soil is terrible. So people started to abandon that life and go to California. Um, so this is gonna be the end of this uh, background video. So you guys are gonna get into a virtual gallery walk. Um, so here are the instructions for that. But please, please, please refer to the other videos on how to break down a photo, song, and text. Um, and don't forget there is a written assignment um, at the end of all these charts that you will fill out on the Google Doc assignment. Um, so please refer back to this PowerPoint, uh, refer back to the examples, or refer back to this video for any bit of background information um, if you're not sure what to do.